All right, what's up? Oh man, this. <laughs> Sorry, the the uh, font might not be that visible. It's all in red. But this uh, video is all about labeling lines, line segments, rays, and angles. So we're going to start with lines, line segments, and rays. When you want to label a line, it's pretty pretty uh, simple. All you need to know is that you can only use two points or you can only use two points now which two points you use it's up to you alright you can use A and C B and D uh, A and D it doesn't matter because the line extends forever in both ways that's what the arrow is for so you pick any two points alright so I, I'm gonna go with A and I'm gonna go with C all right, I, pick, I picked my two points. Um, now to finish this label, I need to make sure that I include the little arrows on top. There you go, the mini line right on top. Please do not forget to write that in. All right. Now when it comes to the line segment, it becomes a little bit more tricky. All right. For the line segment, it really depends on which uh, which segment you're talking about right am I talking about the whole line segment am I talking about the middle line segment the reason why it matters is because when you label line segments you have to take the two end points alright so if I'm talking about the whole line segment here I need to use the letters A and D if I'm talking about the middle line segment here I need to use the points B and C alright so you gotta you you're pretty much limited to the endpoints. So I'm gonna go with the whole line segment. So that means I need to use uh, points A and D. I can write them in any order, right? That doesn't really matter. But I need to use points A and D. All right. Remember, just like we drew a mini line on top of the line AC, we need to draw a mini segment on top of line segment AD and a mini line segment on top of line segment DA. Alright, what about the ray? The ray is a little bit more trickier. For the ray, <coughs> excuse me, for the ray, you need to always start with the end point. Alright, your first letter should always be the end point. So in this case, the end point is A. So I need to start with the letter A. And for the second letter, I can choose whichever letter I want. Why? Because the ray extends forever in this direction. Okay? So I can choose a B, I can choose a C, or I can choose a D. I'm going to go with uh, B this time. Alright. So again, I have to start with a point A. That is my end point here. I have to start with this. And to finish this label off, all right, just like how we did for the previous two examples, I need to draw a mini ray right on top. And there's my mini ray. All right, now what about labeling angles? So labeling angles is uh, pretty straightforward. You just have to be able to locate the vertex of the angle. So in this angle right here, the vertex is T. And in this angle right here, the vertex is M. Now, when you want to talk about a particular angle, uh, traditionally you use three letters. All right, traditionally you use three letters um, where the vertex is in the middle. All right, the vertex is in the middle. So in the first angle right here, uh, I'm going to start off by drawing a little angle sign, and I'm going to draw. I'm going to pick three letters uh, that make angle all right three letters that make the angle where the vertex is in the middle so I can go a T E or a T S or E T A or S T A all right any one of those would work I'll go with a T S all right in this particular case the angle is alone here, right? This is the angle, only angle that you see that's attached to this vertex. 
if that is the case, right here, I'll write other angles where T is in the middle here. Oops, see, I oh, ooh, I made a mistake there. I'm gonna try to make that an E. There you go. Right. However, when the angle is alone, when the angle is alone like this, you can label the angle by just writing the vertex. So I can call this angle T. Now this only works when the angle is alone. In this particular example, right, notice that the angle is not alone, right? This vertex is responsible for more than one angle. There are two angles that are sharing this vertex. So in this particular case, I cannot just call this angle M because then you're going to confuse the reader. Which angle M are you talking about? Are you talking about angle SMA? Right? Or are you talking about angle AME? Right? So in this particular case, if the vertex is a part of more than one angle, you need to stick with the three letters. Alright, so I can call, I can uh, say angle SMA or angle uh, AME. Or if I want to talk about the whole angle here, I would say angle SME.